Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures. I'm sitting here crafting away. I have had this, I don't know what it is. It's a cone, it's black, um, kind of like a textured chipboard. And the bottom was wood, which, um, yeah, I guess I could tell, but it was painted black. And then there's a hole at this end. And I thought I could make a jewelry tree. I don't know, I probably had it for like two years. Well, uh, I decided I was going to make one of those Victorian Christmas cones, but I will tell you this, that making cones out of paper has always been a challenge for me. Um, so at the top, I put some ribbon in a burgundy color, and I hate it when the glue shows through, but I'm going to um, switch glues, and I'm going to put a little lace there. This is some ledger paper, and I had no clue what size to cut it at, so what I actually did is did two pieces. So I've got the front and then the back. I trimmed the paper even, and then I called my daughter in, and I said, please give me an idea of something that is metal, cone-shaped, that could either go down in or go on top. And in one second, she said, a thimble, and I was like, Oh my goodness, yes. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I pulled these out. Um, I think I'm gonna put something down inside to stuff it. And then here's, I really like the way that looks. I also on the floor had some chandelier crystals. They won't go through the hole on the inside. I guess I could try and insert it up and see. I can try that, but I do think a crystal hanging would be gorgeous. So I am so excited about this now. That's the crystal. I like that. It looks good in person. And then I would just have to glue that down, maybe put like a little piece of ribbon. Hmm. Cause I think I like that it comes to a point and I like, I like the metal part of this. That's what I like. And then the fact that it relates to an interest of mine, I think it's going to be the crystal. So I stopped by my friend Janet's house. Janet, I have shared um, her sculptures on this channel before. Her website, her Facebook, her Instagram, it's called Parts to Pieces and it's the number two. And she's an awesome assemblage artist. So she sent me a message on Instagram to see if I wanted this dress and it is amazing. It's very shabby here at the top, um, but she had said maybe if you fold it down, you could display the skirt and it's got these um, uh, rhinestones and this beadwork. I don't know anything about dating uh, clothing, so I don't know what decade this is. It could be the 10s, it could be the 20s. I, I have no clue, but I just think it's so beautiful. And then when I was there, she had a, a few other treasures for me. This beautiful glass piece, blue glass with this a uh, chair of blowing bubbles. And at first when she held it up to me, I thought this was a buckle. And then I realized, no, it was really just made like this. It fits perfectly. And I believe that marking right there says the beginning of Czechoslovakia. So that's so pretty. But that's a neat idea. If you did have a buckle, putting a little um, salt cellar or ashtray underneath of it to do something with it. She also, well, her house is decorated so beautifully. It's very calming, yet just so many little treasures from estate sales and thrifting, but also the beach. So she had lots of seashells out, and I took a few pictures. I don't think she'll mind me sharing one of them. And um, I don't know if enough people ask, maybe she'll let me come over and film. But it's just beautiful. And if you like the things I collect or how I arrange things, you will fall in love with her house. It's slightly different, yet still the same. Um, so she gave the kids these two uh, fossils. They are petrified sea biscuits in the sand dollar family. And my daughter loves things like that. Then this made in Japan Santa to display. And then the last thing is this purse frame. And at first I didn't know what I could do with it. Um, and I do have, I believe, um, a 
beaded bag that doesn't have a frame. I don't know if it's gonna fit on this. She had thought you could do it like this and have a picture frame. So that would be cute if you had like two grandkids or school pictures, you could put one on either side. But then I just opened it up flat and I thought, oh my gosh, it's just perfect as a picture frame like that. Hang it from a knob on a dresser, put the picture behind it because the detail is beautiful. Or what if you had a dress displayed and then a picture of the person who wore it like that. So I am so inspired. So thank you, Janet. I'm also gonna share a video of her sculptures and I will leave all the information in the description box of how to buy her sculptures, but they're all $95 and less, which is amazing for you know one of a kind art. And she's offering 20% off with the code TARNISHED20. All of it will be down below. Check her out. She has so many sculptures available for sale. You can see that she likes to use doll parts, tins, vintage fabric. Um, each one is just so unique. All vintage materials. So whimsical. And she has lots of different themes. She has some that are black and white, so perfect for Halloween. Summery, gnomes, things that would be great in your kitchen or on your mantle or for different holidays. So if this is up your alley, please check her website out. I'm loving looking back at this video I took and noticing all the little bits and pieces. Vintage pins, oil cans, look at that shoe buckle on that black and white polka dot hat, a tape measure, scrabble pieces, jewelry, watches, little ceramic figurines, angels and dogs, an older crocheted piece, it's just all the stuff that I love to find thrifting and just assembled together. She has some canvas pieces, some things in boxes and jars, and I loved this Christmas piece. I believe she even had the back done as well. I think this one is her largest sculpture. We have roasted vegetables for dinner and then a pork loin that has like a mustard herb crust on top. It's just from Aldi. It's cooled off and it's a little less humid. So we've got the windows open. The kids are outside with dad. I just uh, had my live sale with Pam and I'm about to take a bath to relax. But I turned on my little candle lights here for just a little bit of sparkle. It did not take me very long to find a new cabinet for this area. It's got a beveled mirror that doesn't have any silver loss and it's not really scratched on the mirror. Uh, it's in such good condition, it's almost hard to believe its age. Beautiful carvings. Look at those hinges. So when I walked in to get this, I just couldn't believe all these little details and that I was getting this piece. She said that I was the first person to message and then after that people messaged all day long. So I'm so lucky to have gotten it dovetail there. Easily removable shelf. And then this is interesting. I don't know what material that is backing it. And a little lock. I don't know what I want to display on top. Um, maybe something floral. Doesn't get a lot of light, so I can't put a real plant. So I have to think about that. And then I'm thinking about what could go in here, and then what could go on the shelf. And I thought, how about my Victorian album? And I can probably fit the new red one as well. But I think that's like the perfect use and the perfect spot. So I'm gonna get the red one and see if it fits. Oh, so close. If it weren't for that clasp that sticks out, it would fit. I'll turn it that way so you can see as much color as possible. I almost feel like I've just reunited two things. I think I'm gonna go see if we have some Brasso downstairs and polish up those feet. Oh, aren't those wild? I just did a very quick polish because the kids wanna go outside and do water balloons. 
but it really creates a nice contrast when it's brighter and shinier. So I might go over it again, but I like that you can see something different is happening there. And then I just did that little plate right there. So that's what it looked like. And it's, I mean, about five seconds worth of work. This was the other piece that I purchased. It's a gold frame with some hand painting and then this portrait of a lady. And there are parts that are more three-dimensional and you can see like the accents are added on. I don't know much about this type of painting or art. Uh, I'm curious about it. And the back is framed and uh, marked Kansas City. And then they gave me um, this book for free because they said they felt strange about um, selling religious things in a Bible. And in it, let's see, it says uh, 1930, 1931. So possibly keeping track maybe of um, people's birth or death, maybe marriage. So it looks like it's an Italian. And then there are so many of these gorgeous religious cards in there. Oh, I just love it. So I thought that was really nice that they gave that to me. So I think that was quite the finds yesterday. Here's more of a list as well, 1920s. These are really neat because they're very lacy. It's Sunday, so we're grilling again, chicken and steak today. And then I just roasted some more vegetables and added riced cauliflower with a little bit of chicken base. It tastes so good. And then I'll add a little bit of feta cheese. So everything's ready to go. We just have to grill. Uh, I'm gonna set the table now. I'm just gonna stick that back in the oven. The oven's off, but it can stay warm in there. Table is set and I'm heading outside for some water balloons. <laughs> and the sounds of summer mowing. If I didn't already say it, thank you to everyone who was at Pam's sale. Thank you for the support and just hanging out with me on Saturday. Um, it was awesome. So that'll be it for this video and most likely the next video will be a haul. Have a good one. And don't forget to check out Janet at Parts to Pieces. Bye.